Oh, I'm gonna be so late. Where in the world is she? I can't believe this is actually happening. I need some fresh air. Almost there. Don't leave without me. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I, I just need some air. I wonder if she's standing me up. Maybe I should call her. There he is! I... I hear her ringtone. Mio! Uh-huh. Hi, uh, hi, Key? Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. I'm sorry, I'm super late. Super weird of me, I know. I had to deal with personal business first. Oh yeah, it's totally fine. Let's go inside and have our- Yeah, would love to. Hey, it's okay. She was there. Freaking, as she was there, I saw her. Shh, Emil, she's fine. See? The doctors say how her body has been doing. She should be waking up any day now. Celeste, doctors can be wrong, you know. But listen to it. Her heartbeat is so strong. I'm starting to lose hope, okay? I've spent... So many days in this hospital room, waiting, hoping that she would wake up, and I'm starting to lose hope that she ever will. She is strong, and we both know that. She went through a huge ordeal. Come on, you need to be rested. Not stressing about her waking up. If it comforts you, I'll stay awake. And wake you up if she does. I would like that. You must think I'm weak. Absolutely not. Emil, it's okay to be vulnerable. Now get some sleep. I'll watch her. Thanks. No problem. There you go. What? Celeste, I'm pretty sure they're still fixing things up in here. 
Why don't you take a look? Fine. Whatever you say. Surprise! What are you guys doing here? We wanted to surprise you, so we chipped in a bit and finished the renovations the house needed. It looks really different. I gotta say, it looks even better than how you originally did it. I gotta say, this is this is really nice of you guys. You're welcome, Neil, considering how hard it's been for you the past few months. We also were able to get the prom photo reprinted for you. It's my favorite photo. Thanks, I appreciate that. Emil. I don't need your sympathy, Jeanette. But you're hurting. I know you miss her. I, I do. I, I really do. I don't understand. How did she even arrive in this state? Look, a track mark. Could her coma have been caused by a substance? A domestic dispute, possibly. Heike, is she okay? He's awake. Can you pull the curtain over? Yes. Wait! I thought I was protecting her. I'm so sorry, Jessica. So you knew. Of course I knew! Hikari has been talked about for generations, and how a survivor escaped to continue the bloodline. At least, when her father was alive. So, is Heike the only surviving member of her bloodline? Besides her cousins, my husband never used his magic, and he intended that Haki win either. I feel like if she did, all of this could have been prevented from happening at all. Don't blame yourself, Jessica. Haki having such a core is a rarity, and I mean, she should be awake soon enough. I give her a few months. No, Jessica, I need to prepare to drain her mana again. But wait, no! I still have so many unanswered questions! We will continue to update you on her situation. I'm so sorry. I'm doing everything I can to wake her up, and right now, expelling the mana the corruption generated is the best. I still can't believe this was my vision. But... She was awake, so hopefully soon she'll be awake again. <sighs> Can't sleep. Would she mind? Now stop with that sour look. Haki wouldn't want you looking so gloomy all the time. Spend this time in the hospital room. She'll wake up when she wakes up. Thanks for the concern, but I'm fine. Emil, promise me you won't be spending entire nights in there. You're gonna be stressing yourself sick. Please, promise. Fine! Promise! Please, I can't bear watching both of you like this. I'm sorry, Jeanette. I just... just can't. I need to go.
She's in there. Her mother's inside, so not first. You you can come in. You're here. Thought you finally took the night off, so I took over. Um, sure. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Emil, I'm so sorry for how I acted on your first visit after you were discharged. I was upset. I felt like I failed her by keeping her bloodline a secret. It's fine, Miss Payton. I feel like everyone was hysterical for a while. What happened was pretty intense. Please, call me Jessica. Sure, Jessica. You became her rock over the summer of her 10th grade year. After she came home in tears a few days before school started, I never thought she would see or even talk to you again. But here you are. I'm sure Daniel would have loved you too. Emil, did you love my daughter? Thank you for caring for my daughter so much. She needs it right now. Are you staying for the night? I'm getting exhausted. I don't know how you do it. I am. Um, you can go if you want. Thank you. Good I'm sorry, Jeanette. I just... I just can't. Good morning, Miss... Peyton? <sighs> Emil. Huh? No, 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 sir. I, I wasn't up until 3 a.m. again playing video games. Again. Night, night. Emil. Ah, j j Jenna? Here. Idiot. I told you not to pull another all nighter here. I'm sorry, but I couldn't sleep. Heck, I didn't even realize I passed out. Sheesh, I guess I predicted it. I brought some fruit up from the cafeteria, so here. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm not saying I'm not angry at you, but I also don't blame you. Good morning, Emil. Oh, Jeanette, I didn't hear you come in. No worries, Miss Payton. Just making my rounds. I'm heading to Heike's Cafe next. Got a bunch of my allergy meds today, so I brought you and a meal something to eat. How sweet of you. Thank you. Let me just change into my uniform and take a seat for a meal. All, All right, Miss right, Payton. Hey, are you guys all right? Um, yeah, I... I just... <laughs> we miss Heike. It's unfair. It's been four months. And it's been kind of, well, not as fun here. Hey, why don't we just... Um... Look, thanks for trying your best. I'm going to go on my break now. Do you mind if I come with, Rose? kinda wanna get out of this depressing setting. Actually, I don't think you wanna be third wheeling. Third wheeling? Hey, Rose. Uh, hey. Ooh la la, how long has this been going on? Well, I mean, it's nothing official. Yeah, it's just a friend thing. 
Define friend thing. Look, we really don't want to talk about it until Heike wakes up. Why? It's just her ex-boyfriend. Gee, thanks. Fine, if it will shut you up. <sighs> Hunter and I have been kind of seeing each other casually. But we want Heike's blessing before we become official. But why is this a Heike issue? They did date several years ago, and a lovesick puppy is already sleeping in our hospital room. I think you two will be fine. But you don't get it. I was kind of the reason they broke up. What? Um, nothing. You know, very high school stuff, you know, 16 year olds being hormonal and that fun stuff. <laughs> um, Hunter, let's go. Uh, um, yeah, sure. What's wrong? What? Oh, nothing! <laughs> Don't lie to me. Now tell me. It's really nothing. Mm-hmm. Sure. Why am I alone? What? Why am I alone? I don't understand. I think you are one of those girls who were very much... I need no man. I... Why the sudden change in heart? I don't know. I've been kind of feeling this way since... Well, a few months ago. Why is everyone else able to get their lives together? Daddy, where are you? Celeste, darling, you seem to be in a hurry. What's wrong, my dear? I want you to call off my engagement. What? But why, sweetheart? You know what this means, right? Yes, I do. But I don't want this. It's all about money. What I'm saying is that you're just a mere child. Daddy does know best, and I know that poor boy has gotten you thinking differently. Yes, I don't want to be some trophy wife to some rich boy. I'm sorry, Daddy, but I don't want to be married to that boy. I want it to be someone I love. Poor or rich. I'm sorry. I love- Children don't get to simply decide. They're too naive. Return to your room and come back when you have come to your senses. But- Go! <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, if I just respected my father's wishes, I wouldn't be such a black sheep. But would you have been truly happy? Look, Celeste, I know you liked Emil, but we know who he's chasing and- It's not about Emil. One of my high school friends posted a picture of her with her engagement ring and her fiancé. I just... I don't know how I feel about it. Aspen is engaged. Heike literally has a man waiting for her to wake up. Rose is pursuing a boyfriend. And here I am, still dressed as a freaking maid. Just a bunch of what-ifs. Hey, don't worry about any of that, Celeste. Besides, we have a party of five coming and we need to pep the cat room. Maybe the cats will get your mind off it. Thanks. Exactly what I need. A glimpse into my future. Just let it happen. It is almost summer after all. For all you know, a cute customer could come in or even some college summer applicants. You know, <laughs> cute college guys. Whatever you say, Haley. 
I'll go prep the cat room now. Thank you, Celeste. There you go, a bunch of food for the allergy-producing fur balls. Thank you, Jeanette. I appreciate the help. I mean, I was kind of the reason why Heike is in this position. But you also saved her. But if I didn't trust the wrong person, she wouldn't be in this mess. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. So I don't have a breakdown. Here's the stuff you need. Goodbye. Bye. I'm sorry, Heike. I could have prevented all of your pain. Now I'm paying the consequences of my actions. <laughs>